Hi everybody, it's day saying hello on a video and I'm going to, my big plan here is to um, do as many tips as possible this way so it's all uh, quick and easy for me to keep them rolling at you. And so um, the tip I'm going to give today, it's come up recently in a conversation um, a couple of times and both people that I was um, sitting with and talking to really appreciated this concept and so I thought I'd share it with you. So it was around the context of certain people in your life, such as parents or grandparents or things like that, um, perhaps not being able to show up for you in the way that you've always been hoping that they would show up for you. And um, there's a certain pining and longing that goes along with that experience. And I've had it myself, and I remember um, a number of years ago just realizing, like, gosh, I just keep hoping to get this certain kind of connection and relationship from this certain person and I just don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I just came to this place of accepting that it was unlikely that that was going to happen and um, so I just had this thought that really helped me. I thought, you know, it's been like trying to get organic produce from 7-Eleven. You know, it's just not there. I keep going to the same place hoping to get this thing that I want and being disappointed over and over again but when it occurred to me that you know, I'm just going to the wrong place. It doesn't mean that I can't have what I want. I was just attached to and limiting myself by thinking that it needed, that I wanted it to come to me from that person. So I expanded immediately in that awareness. But I think that's a really interesting tip when you continue to go to the same place and end up walking away disappointed because you didn't receive what you were wanting to receive. Um, perhaps you need to consider the fact that maybe you're just simply going to the wrong place. And um, so, for me, it was the idea of having grandmas and yummy auntie characters and things like that that were regular in, regularly in my life. And I was living on Maui at the time and um, just wishing for that kind of, you know, elder, loving, um, wise woman to show up for me. And within a couple of days, I had my shop, Paradise Potions at the time, three women walked in the door. Uh, Helen, Helen and Yeshe, and if any of you out there from Maui, you're going to know who I'm talking about. Um, and not only did they become these amazing characters, readers of all different sorts at my shop, they became a really, really, really special, yummy women in my life. So um, just in case you know any of them and you want to pass this video along, please do that. But that's what I offer up today, just this notion of reconsidering where we're trying to receive what from and are we going to the right source? You know, does that person or that place actually have the thing we're desiring to offer to us? Um, hope that helps you. It sure helped me and it makes me laugh every time I think of it. Yeah, going to 7-Eleven for organic produce. Silly bunny. Okay, feel my love and watch for more and share me if you want. Okay, bye.